What's up, YouTube? This your boy, v Boy Fast Giant TV, and tonight I'll go on my WWE Raw review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And let's talk about Monday Night Raw. Now, Monday Night Raw gets a gets a four out of ten. It was a decent show, four out of ten. So we go right into it. The show then now forever together. The WWE video leads us into the show. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um the raw video plays and we go live into the Barclays Center from Brooklyn, New York with with a big with a big Pro Technics display. Becky Lynch and WWE Adam Pierce are already in the ring. A replay shows WWE Hall of Famer Lita coming to the ring to take out Dakota Kai and Neil Sky, so that Becky Lynch could defeat Bailey inside the steel cage. The steel cage match. A loud Becky Chan kicks off. Becky Lynch says, The man has come around in Brooklyn. Becky Lynch welcomes everyone to Monday Night Raw. She dressed spiffy and brought Adam Pierce who gets some booze. Even the even though it felt great to be to be Bailey in a steel cage match. Last week, she gives she gives a shout out to Lita for the help. Who who gets a chant? Lita forgave her for being a weirdo last year. Becky Lynch realized that she was so distracted by the damage control, for fools that she lost sight of the most important thing, important thing to her, the women's champ, the Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch loves to fight her way into things. That's where Adam Pierce comes comes in because he likes to up the up the anti. She wants she wants an opportunity to fight into the elimination chamber tonight. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Bailey comes to interrupt her. Bailey says that Becky Lynch thinks she that thinks that she's going to get. Into the elimination chamber match after what she did last week, then she's a bigger idiot than all these other idiots. Becky Lynch could fish can finish what she started since she needed a so-called Hall of Famer. Becky Lynch says, "Lita just even the odds." Bailey wants wants to to lose scrub Lita to be invi uninvited and. And for her to be put into the elimination cherry match, Becky Lynch doesn't know what what it's like to be a Grand Slam champion. Becky Lynch says Bailey would know what it's like to be main event main event at WrestleMania. Bailey says no one wants to see Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair again, especially especially since Becky Lynch lost last time. They continue to argue. Now Bailey and Becky Lynch make some good points. That's all I gotta say. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, Raw, the, um, Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair comes out to the stage. There is a lot of talk about the Raw Women's Champion, but no one thought to talk to the champion herself. A loud EST chant picks up. Bianca Belair wants to face the best at WrestleMania. There is already six women in the chamber elimination chamber. But uh, I'm sorry, eliminate chamber match. But if Bailey and Becky Lynch want to use the chamber to get to her, then they should. Adam Pierce says Bianca Belair, Bailey, and Becky Lynch will have to, uh, will have a triple threat match tonight. If either Becky Lynch or Bailey wins, they will be in the chamber, and that match will start at as as a triple threat match tonight. Okay, if Bianca Bella wins, neither of them get into the Elimination Chamber match. Adam Pierce makes the match official. Okay. Then, we, then it says, Later tonight, Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley will meet in the ring for an Elimination Chamber contract signing. Liv Morgan will quell Rodriguez and Natalia will battle Oscar, Nikki Cross, and Carmella. Finally, Seth freaking Rollins will be on Miz TV. Byron Sasson is bad shapes with the Judgment Day. Byron Sasson says, 
Finn Balor would team with Ray Ray to make to take on Edge and Beth Phoenix, while Damian Priest will set will step inside the Elimination Chamber for the United States Championship. It is the Judgment Day prepared for for the huge week ahead. Damian Priest wonders if the five men are prepared to be in the chamber with him. Dominic Mysterio says he knows a thing or two about being locked up. Damian Priest will run the chamber like he ran his ran his block. Dominic Mysterio just got off the phone with Mommy, who is still traveling the world. She's excited about the Elimination Chamber and excited for Valentine's Day. Finn Balor says they have the Street Profits next. If they want the smoke, they'll bring they bring it. Okay, the Street Profits makes their way to the ring. They'll face the Judgment Day next. So we go to commercial break. So we get a tag team match. The Street Profits, Angela Dawkins and Montez Ford versus the Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Damian Priest are coming by Dominic Mysterio. Now this match was okay for what it was. It, it was okay match for what it was. Okay, Montez Ford will start the match against Damian Priest. They lock up and Damian Priest powers forward to the corner. Um, a loud We Want Mommy chant picks up. Damian Priest gets forward in the corner and knees the weight at him. Damian Priest punches Ford in the face and sends him into the ropes for a shoulder tackle. Finn Balor tags in. Damian Priest hits Ford with a snap mirror and Finn Balor hits a slingshot, slingshot stomp for a two count. Finn Balor taunts the crowd and punches Ford in the head. Ford blocks a kick and spins Finn Balor around for a big kick to the head. Angela Dawkins tag in and drop kicks Finn Balor. Finn Balor, I'm sorry, Demi Priest runs in, but the Street Profits hit a double team flapjack. They close on Demi Priest over the top rope. Demi Priest hits his knee, his knee hard on the apron. So we go to commercial break. So we go picture in picture commercial break. Demi Priest takes a few moments to recover. Four attacks Finn Balor and punches him around ringside before chopping, chopping the chest. Four gets him in the ring and shoulders him. Four goes for a sunset flip, but Finn Balor rolls through and drop kicks him, drop kicks him in the face. Damian Priest tag in and knocks Dawkins off the apron. Damian Priest chokes Ford in the middle rope. Dominic Mysterio gets a cheap shot in. Mr. Dominic Mysterio and Damian Priest taunt the crowd. Finn Balor tags in and kicks Ford in the chest before hitting a scissor kick for a two count. Um. Finn Balor hits a snap mirror and applies a chin lock. Four fights up, so Balor tags Demi Priest back in. Demi Priest hits four with that broken arrow for a two count. Demi Priest forms four lower back in the corner and puts him on the top rope. Demi Priest goes for a curve flick powerbomb, but before fights it, we come back from from the break to see Demi Priest attempting a belly to belly to back super superplex. But Ford turns himself in mid air and land to land on Demi Priest. Dawkins and Balor tag in. Dawkins hits Balor with a back elbow and a close on before punching Demi Priest. Dawkins punches Finn Balor back before hitting the ropes and knocking Demi Priest off the apron. Dawkins hits a leaping back elbow followed by a followed by the silence. silencer. Um Dawkins missed a twisted avalanche, so four attacks himself in. Dawkins knocks Finn Balor into four for a back back suplex, but Demi Priest breaks up the pin. Dawkins tags back in. The Street Profits hit a double team blockbuster doomsday device for a near fall. Dawkins cannot believe it. Demi Priest comes into the ring, but Dawkins knocks him out of the ring. Four wipes out. Demi Priest. With a with a somersault in Tom Plancha. Dawkins brings Mr. Dominic Mysterio into the ring the hard way and hits a bounce hits a pounce. Um Finn Balor hits a pounce. Finn Balor quickly hits Dawkins with a slim blade and a woo drop pick. Finn Balor goes to the top rope and hits the coup de grace for the victory. The winner of the match the judgment day. This was a this was okay, um, Tag team match. This was this match was okay for what it was. 
Then Balor gets in the ring to check on Dawkins, but Damian Priest super kicks him. The the Judgment Day starts to trip with Team Four until Edge and Beth Phoenix run down to the ring to a huge ovation. Edge clears the ring. In the ring, Beth Phoenix close on Dominic Mysterio and goes for a glam slam. Rhea Ripley all of a sudden runs in and attacks Beth Phoenix from behind. Rhea Ripley is actually in Brooklyn tonight. Rhea Ripley hits Beth Phoenix with a reptile and leaves the ring with Dominic Mysterio. A loud mommy chant picks up as runs into the ring to check on his wife. Okay, coming up next. Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley signs a contract for for a match at the Elimination Chamber. So we go to commercial break. So footage is showing of Patrick Mahomes walking around the Kansas City Chiefs locker room with a custom-made WWE Championship belt to celebrate their Super Bowl victory last night. Okay, so we get the Elimination Chamber contract signing. Okay, this will say let down right here. Okay, right. Okay, WWE official Adam Pierce is in the ring, which has a table and chairs in, in, in it for the contract signing. Brock Lesnar makes his way to the ring, to the ring to a big ovation. Brock Lesnar throws one of the chairs out of the ring. Adam Pierce says they are here to make it official. The rubber match between Brock Lesnar, who's already signed the contract, and Bobby Lashley. Um, Bro- uh, Brock Lesnar says he's already assigned a contract and just need Bobby Lashley to sign it. Brock Lesnar demands Bobby Lashley to get out here and sign this. Bobby Lashley meets the kids and a security force comes out to the stage. They line up the ramp. They bring out another table and chair and put them down on the stage. Bobby Lashley walks out to the stage and looks pleased. Bobby Lashley says things are not going going down like this. This is not this is not the Brock Lesnar show. Brock Lesnar wants a contract signing, so Adam Pierce rolls out the red carpet. Bro- Bobby Lashley is sick of sick of this. The way Lashley sees it, whenever he faces Lesnar, he's left him either pinned, unconscious, or elimination eliminated from. The Royal Rumble. They doing things on Lashley's terms. Brock Lesnar tells him to get his you know what in the in the ring. Lashley sits at his table on the stage. Lashley says they doing this on his terms. Lashley said he'll look at the contract. Lashley had his agents, managers, representatives, and his kids look look at Brock Lesnar's contract. Adam Pierce tells him to come and sign it. Um, Lashley says he doesn't know if he's if he's going to. Brock Lesnar is alright and takes off his cowboy hat. Bob, um, Brock Lesnar tells Bobby Lashley to get in the ring and sign the contract. Bobby Lashley likes a Bobby scare chant and gets get and gets it going. Bobby Lashley smiles. Brock Lesnar says if Bobby Lashley doesn't sign this contract, he's going to calm down there and be and. And, and beat his you know what unconscious before signing in for him. Bobby Lashley says Brock Lesnar doesn't have the doesn't have the boss to <clears throat> excuse me. Brock Lesnar leaves the ring and starts taking out security guards. Brock Lesnar charges through them, but Bobby Lashley hits him with a back body drop on the ramp. Bobby Lashley then spears Brock Lesnar down on the on the ground. Lashley goes to ringside and grabs the contract. Um, Bobby Lashley signs the contract and puts it down on Lesnar. Bobby Lashley pulls and walks off. The cr- the crowd wants to see someone go through the table, but they don't get their wish. Okay, that's that segment itself was a letdown. Okay, let's move on. Coming up, coming up next, uh, me and Young will. Face Piper Nivens. Um, commercial break. We play our showing of Carmella winning a fatal four-way match to earn her way into the women's elimination chamber match. After the match, Piper Nivens attacked Candice Ray until Mia Yim steps in. Okay, so we get Piper Nivens versus Mia Yim. 
Um, this was a squash match that I didn't care about. Um, Miriam charges at the sound of the bell, but Piper Nimitz easily shoulder tackles her down. Piper Nimitz ta attacks Miriam in the corner. Miriam gets out and goes for a clothesline, but Piper Nimitz absorbs it. Miriam kicks her and goes for a scoop slam, but Piper Nimitz falls on her when Miriam can't get, get her up. Uh, Miriam gets to her feet and manages to to DDT Piper Nimitz. Piper Nimitz down. Miriam chops Piper Nimitz chest before Piper Nimitz hits a shambo suplex. Uh, Piper Nimitz follows up with a centaur splash for near fall. Piper Nimitz slaps Miriam on the back of the head and kicks away at her. Piper Nimitz stands on Miriam's and talks some talk trash to her. Piper Nimitz punches Miriam to the corner and clubs the chest. Piper Nimitz slam goes for a slam, but Miriam slides off and tries to eat and tries for eat the feet. Piper Nimitz fights her off and hits a back a black hole slam for the victory. She calls she's calling that a low uh, low slam. The winner of the match, Piper Nimitz. This match was this match is I ain't really care about. Okay, let's move on. Via package after walking off on the bloodline at the World Rumble, Jay Uso showed up to defend to defend the WWE Tag Team Championship alongside his brother Jimmy Uso on SmackDown this past Friday. After the match, Jimmy asks if Jay if Jay he was in or out. Jay says he doesn't know and walks off. Paul Heyman was spying in the background and called Jimmy lying about what Jay said. Sammy, Sammy later bumped into Jay Uso. Sammy Zayn says he he's going to make he's going to take Roman Reigns down. Jay doesn't have to go down with the with the with the ship. Sammy Zayn says he acknowledged Jay Uso. Jay Uso fist bumps in. Finally, Paul Heyman informs Jay, Jimmy that the Usos aren't needed in Montreal for next week's SmackDown. The one thing I can say about it is the the bloodline the bloodline carried this story carried this story, and I and I'm enjoying every single one of it. Okay, let's move on. Roman Reigns will defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Sami Zayn this uh, this Saturday at Elimination Chamber. Okay, let's move on. Later tonight, Raw, Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair will battle Becky Lynch and Bailey. If Becky Lynch or Bailey wins. They'll they'll be added into the to the elimination chamber. So we we'll go to commercial break. Uh, we we played our showing of Dexter Lumis defeating Baron Corbin last week on Raw. JBL quits on Corbin after the after the after the match. Kathy Kelly is backstage with Baron Corbin. She mentions that JBL has some unsettling words for him and wants some comments from him. Corbin goes to start talking but she cuts him off and says something important is happening in the arena okay <clears throat> so this will say um this pro this segment was not bad it was this will say solid promo by Sami Zayn and um Cody Rhodes Sami Zayn runs runs into the ring with with a hoodie on the crowd is happy to see Sam, to see him Sami Zayn says he's not here to hold the the show up but he has to say Something to someone and may not have a chance after elimination chamber. Sami Zayn calls Cody Rhodes out to the ring. Wrestling has more than one than the one world rumble. The one world world family. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cody Rhodes, the winner of the two thousand twenty three men's world rumble, makes his way to the ring. Cody Rhodes gets in the ring and the crowd is absolutely buzzing. They chant Cody. Cody Rhodes welcomes Sami Zayn to Raw, and that's what he wants to talk about. Sami Zayn says last week on Raw he had a verbal ch exchange with Paul Heyman that sets the world on fire. Everyone was talking about it. One thing Cody Rhodes said has has stuck in his mind. Cody Rhodes says he's looking more, he's looking more and more every day, like. It's going to be Cody Rhodes versus Sami Zayn at WrestleMania 39. Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn comes all this way to look Cody Rhodes dead in the eye to 
hear straight from his mouth. If that was a lip service, or does Cody Rhodes actually believe Sami Zayn can beat Roman Reigns? And yes, Shane picks up. Cody Rhodes says his his ban his band ban with is dedicated to what he what he's been saying about winning the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania 39. Cody Rhodes doesn't have time to be a Sami Zayn. Uh, when he says Sami Zayn can be Roman Reigns, he meant it. He, he meant it. When he said that Sami Zayn will most likely be the be his WrestleMania 39 opponent, he believed it. The crowd chants, this is awesome. Cody Rhodes says he respectfully doesn't think this is what this is about right now. Does it really matter what Cody Rhodes believes? Does Sami Zayn really, really believes that he can beat Roman Reigns? Sami Zayn thinks about it and asks Cody Rhodes if he wants the truth. The crowd begins to sing Ole to Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn says the truth is that he doesn't know. Cody Rhodes has seen, has seen what Sami Zayn sees. Sami Zayn has been in the trend. The trenches with the bloodline. This thing about Roman Reigns is it's in God mode. It's in just a catchphrase. Roman Reigns is operating on a level not seen before. Sami Zayn has seen guys bigger and stronger than him walk into a match with Roman Reigns. Full, full, fully believe they could be him. Only, only the. Only to go down. Every one, every one of them went down. Is Sami Zayn supposed to believe that after almost nine hundred days that he could be the one to take to take out Roman Reigns? Uh, Sami Zayn believes he is capable of beating Roman Reigns. If you're asking if he thinks he's capable of becoming the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, yes, he believes that. Sami Zayn believes that he. Can main event WrestleMania thirty nine? Sami Zayn has to believe that with every fiber of his being, or no one else will. However, if Sami Zayn thinks he can walk into Montreal and beat Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Sami Zayn doesn't know. You, I'm sorry, a you you can do it, champ. Picks up. Cody Rhodes asks if Sami Zayn really doesn't know. Everyone here knows. As does Sami Zayn, hometown of Montreal. Sami Zayn looks unsure. Cody Rhodes has, has Cody Rhodes hasn't been with with Roman Reigns, but he's watching. He but he watch him. Everyone else has fallen, but there's there's a distant di, this sense in on the bloodline because of Sami Zayn. There there are cracks in the in a in the armor because of Sami Zayn. The idea that the greatest champion of this generation could be death thrown because it's become a reality is because of Sami Zayn. This awesome moment in the in the time is because of Sami Zayn. Um, Cody Rhodes says Roman Reigns could be the be in Gamma when he just said man. On Saturday, on Saturday, Sami Zayn can't find Sami Zayn can find out for himself. Cody Rhodes punches his punches his his ticket. Michael Cole says said, said on commentator that he needs to finish his story. Cody Rhodes intends to finish his story. Sami Zayn needs to finish his story. Sami Zayn looks fired up. Cody Rhodes has one more thing to say to Sami Zayn. Cody Rhodes doesn't want to see Sami Zayn on Raw next week because he'll rather see him at WrestleMania 39. Sami Zayn n- nod at him and looks uh, and, and, and looks red in the face before walking off through the crowd. Now this was a solid promo right here. Okay, Carmella is warming up backstage when Nikki Cross walks up. Carmella asks where she where she has been. Nikki Cross says she's been playing high and seek with her new friend before crackling sinisterly. Um, Carmella says Nikki Cross says getting too close. 
Carmelo asks where their uh, where the where their other teammates is. Oscar calls up behind her and asks with a mask on. Carmela walks off and says, "They're so weird." Candice Lee walks up to Nikki Cross and asks why she's been following her. Um, Nikki Cross laughs and walks off. Candice Lee looks looks weird out. Okay, we have a six woman tag team match. Um, commercial break. Kathy Kelly is backstage with Barry Corbin once again. Corbin says JBL was holding him down while ho- hobbling around in that stupid stupid cowboy hat. Corbin says he's sick and tired of being disrespected. They had an interview. It was interrupted by Sammy Thang. At the, at the Elimination Chamber, Roman is going to destroy Sammy Thang in front of his family and friends. No, and no world, no world does Sammy Thang be Roman Reigns. The last person to be Roman Reigns is Baron Corbin at the Royal Rumble. He will blindside and attack and attack. He will blindside by Brock Lesnar. Otherwise, he he have he have gone through the match and gone to be Roman Reigns at WrestleMania thirty nine. Um, uh, WrestleMania, yeah, WrestleMania thirty nine. Instead, the other guy won the match. The guy who won. Who, the one who won had a minor injury that kept him out of eight months. Cody Rose is walking in the background. Corbin does doesn't see him. Corbin doesn't get what everyone everyone sees in Cody Rose. Corbin thinks his brother and and father's and, and father are jokes. Cody Rose has heard enough and attacks Corbin. They fight through the gorilla p- position. Cody Rose tells them to get a referee. Cody was still in his suit in his suit. Be be Corbin to the arena and punches him down the ramp. Cody Rose throws Corbin in, in, into the ring. Corbin attacks Cody Rose getting in the ring and backs up the referee call for the bell. So we get Cody Rose versus versus um yeah, Cody Rose versus Baron Corbin. This was a quick match. The match begins and Cody and Cody Rose knocks Corbin out of the ring. Cody Rose hits a suicide dive and rips, rips his shirt off. Cody Rose attacks yeah, Cody Rose attacks Baron Corbin at ringside and throws him into the timekeeper's area. Cody Rose gets in the ring to break it up. The count the count out. Corbin attacks uh, Cody Rose, but Cody Rose hits him into the ring post. Corbin quickly fires back and, and pulls him on the top of the commentary table that they brought up on that they brought on the top of the table before Corbin is knocked off. Um Cody Rose sends Corbin into a still ring steps. Barry Corbin rolls into the ring. Corbin I'm, I'm sorry, Cody Rose goes to the top rope and leaves over Baron Corbin. Cody Rose drops drops down and hits in of a cut followed by a Cody Cutter. Um, co- <clears throat> um Cody Rose gets fired up and points to the WrestleMania sign. Cody Rose hits Cody Rose hits Corbin with a crossroads for the victory. The winner of the match, Cody Rose. This was a quick match. With Crow Rodriguez, Natalia and Liam Morgan are backstage. Natalia is not happy about Becky Lynch and Bailey potentially wrestling their way into the Elimination Chamber match. Liv Morgan Says they'll just be one one more bob on their road to WrestleMania 39. But what what Crow Rodriguez tell them, tells them to focus on tonight. Lil Morgan makes her entrance. Commercial break. Tonight, man, tonight's main event would be a true threat match. Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch, and Bailey will compete. If either if if either Becky Lynch or Bailey wins, they will be put into the Elimination Chamber. Which will start as the start as a triple threat match. If Bianca Belair wins, Becky Lynch and Bailey will be out for good. So we get a six woman tag team match: Liv Morgan with Quinn Rodriguez, Natalia versus Carmella, Nikki Cross, and Oscar. Um, this was this this six woman tag match was um um this was. I'm gonna say this this six six women tag team match was just um it was decent. Well, Quell Rodriguez and Italia Liv Morgan are backstage. 
Natalie is not happy about Becky Lynch and Bailey potentially weasel their way into the Elimination Chamber match. Liv Morgan says there will just be one more bump on her road to WrestleMania 39. But Quill tells them to to focus uh, focus on tonight. Okay. Then um, then we get Oscar comes out with her. I'm sorry, we get Oscar comes comes out with a new version of her theme song. Nikki Cross will start will start against Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel, I'm, I'm sorry, Nikki Cross jumps on her back, but Raquel Rodriguez pulls her off. Nikki Cross smiles, so Raquel Rodriguez hits a follow away slap. Nikki Cross gets up, smiling, and Carmella attacks, and Carmella is scared by Rodriguez and wants to face me. Face Natalia. Natalia attacks and Natalia goes for a slam. Mark Carmelo counters into a roll up. Natalia counters that with a sharpshooter. Nikki Cross runs in, <clears throat> runs in and breaks up the submission. Marquel Rodriguez and Nikki Cross run in, and as does, as does Oscar. Team SmackDown Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, and Natalia clear the ring. Commercial break, pitch and picture. Commercial break. Carmella um, goes Natalia out of the ring. Natalia chases her into the ring. Carmella super kisses her as Natalia gets her. Will get in. Carmella boosts her in the corner and glows before hitting a Bronco, Bronco Buster for a two count. Nikki Cross tags in and attacks Natalia. Nikki Cross knocks her out, knocks her out of the ring and sends her into the barricade. Nikki Cross. Um, gets Natalia in the ring and applies an armbar before picking up a two count. Natalia powers Nikki Cross back, but um, Oscar attacks it. Oscar knees um Natalia in the face and hits a snapmare. Um, Natalia, I mean Oscar kicks away at Natalia before applying an armbar. Natalia fights up, so Carmella attacks and Carmella takes down Natalia, takes Natalia down. And Natalia fights back and goes for a slam, but Carmella pulls her down by the hair for a two count. Carmella applies a body scissors. We come back from the break to see Natalia and and the body scissors. Natalia spins around, so Carmella hooks her hooks her with a front face lock. Natalia powers up and slams Carmella down. Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross tag in. Morgan takes Nikki Cross down twice before kicking away at her. Liv Morgan kicks up and avalanches her in the corner. Liv Morgan knees Nikki Cross in the face and stands on stands on the middle rope. Liv Morgan hits a missile drum kick. Oscar tag in and takes it to Liv Morgan with a vicious strike combination. Oscar knees her in the face and covers her, but Natalia immediately breaks it up. Oscar says Natalia in the ring post, but Natalia comes up short. Raquel Rodriguez catches Carmella and holds her up. Nikki Cross jumps on Raquel Rodriguez's back, but she does doesn't go down. Uh, um, Oscar then kicks Raquel Rodriguez in the head to take her down. All of a sudden, Oscar kicks Nikki Cross in the head and hits her with a German suplex. Um, Oscar then kicks Carmella in the head. And hits a German two plus. Oscar takes Liv Morgan down and applies a modified ring of sternal sternal stress stress for the submission. The winner by submission, Carmella, Nikki Cross, and Oscar. Okay, let's move on. We go backstage to see Otis eating a hot dog. Gable talks about him, talks about how that uh, talks about how at this time last year where they were the Wrong tag team champion, something went wrong, but he revolt he revolts um academy curl um uh, cur cur curriculum. Gable it says all oh, should eat hot dogs and throw it that way. The camera pans over to see Mansour cover and mustard. Mace and Max Dupree are with him. Mansour is not happy. Dupree introduces her, herself and asks if he's Done anything, Marlon? Gable, Gable thinks he's talking to him, talking to him, and they say he could be a hand model. Otis has Otis has the prequel, physical. They're looking for Otis. Looks please. 
Uh, Dupree hands him a card. Gable isn't happy. Bronson Reed walks by, walks by them. He'll face Mustafa Ali next commercial break. So we get Bronson Reed versus Mustafa Ali. This was a solid match. Uh, Ali takes a swing at Bronson Reed, but Bronson Reed absorbs it. Bronson Reed richly throws him away. And Ali flips him over and hits the ropes. But Bronson Reed avalanches him down. Ali boosts him in a fa- and boosts him in the face and then they draw kick to the draw kicks the arm. Ali draw kicks Bronson Reed in the in the knee, but Bronson Reed pushes him off and hits a back body drop out of the ring. Bronson Reed gets on the apron and hits a diving shoulder tackle. Bronson Reed gets Ali in the ring. Ali attacks Bronson Reed as he gets in the ring. And knocks him off the apron. Ali jumps off the apron, but Bronson Reed catches him, and Riley throws him into the timekeeper's area. Wow, that was outrageous. Um, Bronson Reed drags the lifeless Ali back in, back at, back to ringside, and puts him, through, puts him in the ring. Bronson Reed goes for a power bomb, but Ali gets out and counters into a DDT. Ali covers, but Bronson Reed kicks. Out at one, Bronson Reed turns him inside out with a clothesline. Bronson Reed goes to the top rope and hits a tsunami splash for the win. I mean, for the victory. The winner of the match, Bronson Reed. This was a um solid, ma- solid match. Uh, replay are showing a real Ripley attacking Beth Phoenix early tonight. Captain Kelly is, is backstage with Edge and Beth Phoenix. Edge says they ju- says the judgment day got one over on them. Tonight, but they'll pay on Saturday. On Saturday, Beth Phoenix says they'll show up, show them, show them why they're the great couple. The Miz makes his way to the ring for another edition of Miz TV. Miz T- Miz is dressed to com- dressed to compete commercial break. Miz TV was Miz yeah Miz TV was special guest Seth freaking Rollins. Okay, the Miz is in the ring and welcomes everyone to the show. Miz complains about not being in the Elimination Chamber before, remind, remembering that he didn't want to make this about him tonight. They're going to figure out where is his guest head is at. Is is he focused on the Elimination Chamber or he, or is or is he too busy with his social media feud against Logan Paul? Miss introduced Seth freaking Rollins. Miss rocks out, rocks out to Seth Rollins' music in the ring. Seth freaking Rollins makes his way to the ring wearing the most ridiculous oversized red boots you'll ever see. The crowd loudly sings with Seth Rollins' music. Miss Miss asks if they if they're done and says he'll only at ten only has ten minutes. Miss asks Rollins. About his boots, Ron says, "It's a it's it's style something Miz would know a you know know a thing about." Miz wants to know where Ron's head head is at. Ron says the people of Brooklyn don't want to hear about the dumpster fire that is Logan and Paul. They here to they they here to sing. So Ron gets the crowd singing again. Miz says if he. Wanted to hear people say there are, he'll listen to someone who can't sing like Taylor Swift. <clears throat> Miz says the yeah, Miz says the crowd doesn't want doesn't know what they want. Miz knows what he wants. Logan Paul calls Seth Rollins a clown. Now he has to boot he has to boost the the match. Rollins says his mother always said if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Miz says Seth Rollins' mom is probably disappointed in her son. Was eliminated by Logan Paul. Seth, Seth Rollins will talk about Logan Paul everywhere but in the ring. But Seth Rollins is upset. It's upset and shall shut up, Mike. I shut up, Mike. Champ picks up. Um, Seth Rollins says WrestleMania 39 is the reason he doesn't want to talk about Logan Paul. Um talk about WrestleMania Real Okay. Doesn't want to talk about Logan Paul. 
Okay, I read that part. Seth Rollins has always one or two main event WrestleMania thing on. That dream matters to him. It it matters to the Miz and every person in this arena. They love they love this. The crowd says to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins says he loves that. The person who doesn't give a give a you know what about this Logan Paul is a selfish. All he cares about is lying lying in his pockets and get famous. Logan Paul doesn't deserve to have his name spoken in this ring. All all Logan Paul wants his his attention, but he want but what he needs is to have his teeth kicked in. Mia says it sounds like it sounds like Sabron is a little jealous. Sabron says we know how stupid Miz is, but he's not that stupid. Sabron says it's, je- it's not jealous. My Miz says he is not stupid. Sabron says Sabron asks Brooklyn if if Miz is stupid. The crowd loudly agrees, and then yes, chance starts up. Miz shouts that he is not stupid. They are they are the only two top two top Grand Slam champion in this company. But Miss is but Miss is the only one that has headline WrestleMania. Miss has lived Rollins' dream, something Rollins may never get, n- never get because of Logan Paul. Seth Rollins punches Miss in the face and hits him with a chair. Seth Rollins sets up for a stomp, but United States champion Austin Theory. Pulls him out of the ring. Seth Rollins knocks him back, knocks him back. Miz attacks Seth Rollins and gets him in the ring. Seth Rollins gets out of the skull crusher finale and super kicks, super kicks Miz with his oversized boots. Um, Seth Rollins hits Miz with a stomp to the boot, with was a larger than Miz head. Derry then attacks Seth Rollins and hits a a towel down. Theory tosses toss trash to Rollins and Pulse with the title while standing over him. All right, let's move on. Rick Boots is warming up backstage. Elias walks up to him and says Rick Boots is probably feeling a lot of pressure being compared to him. If Rick Boots loses to Miz to Miz tonight, he shouldn't let it get to him, let it get him down. If Rick Boots is impressed. Him, maybe they can do in a, a collaboration. Rick Woods is fired up, fired up about it. Rick Woods was born a very, very to rip a rip and share. Rick Woods is fired up. So we get MVP is talking talking with Cedric Alexander and Show Measurement in the background during this segment. Um, we go back to the ring to see the mess still a costly. Conscious list in the ring. Commercial break. So we get Miz. Miz versus Bronson Reed. I mean, Miz versus Rick Boots. Didn't care about this match. The Miz, the Miz is still coming in, coming to the ring. Following the storm from Seth Rollins. Seth, Seth freaking Rollins in his ma- massive red boots. Uh, Miz says this match is not happening. As the what just happened to the him. Miz actually has a cut on his head. The referee calls for the bell. Rick Bulls hits Miz with an explode. With an explode suplex, you are doing 10 deadlifts curls with Miz and slamming him down. Rick Bulls materially press Miz and slams him down with, for the victory. The win of the match, Rick Bulls. This match was god awful. WWE. Official out of is backstage being betrayed by Chelsea Green. She is upset with with her treatment last week. She tells him to treat her like the star that she is. Chelsea Green wants a redo and demands to be in the chamber, the elimination chamber match. She wants to get into the triple threat match. Uh, out of Pierce says that's not happening. She said if he touches her, her she'll she'll scream. Chelsea Green says she's feeling threatened. Adam Pierce walks off on her. Later tonight we'll have a true threat match with Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch and Bailey. 
So we go to commercial break. WWE congratulates the Kansas City Chiefs on winning the Super Bowl last night. Okay, Byron Saxon is backstage with Judgment Day. Finn Balor says they going to do what they did to Edge and Beth Phoenix over and over again. Dominic, Myster- Dominic Mysterio says Edge, Beth Phoenix is so pathetic. Father, we're, God, we're good, but the game has pre- passed them passed them by Dominic. De- I'm sorry, Damian Priest says they they're at the top of the game. At Elimination Chamber, he'll be the new United States Championship at WrestleMania 39. Rhea Ripley will walk in as the challenger, but she'll leave as the SmackDown Women's Champion. Rhea Ripley says Charlotte Flair thinks she's on a different level, but she's a level below Ripley. Ripley will rise and be her. The rise begins th- this Saturday when she and Bella beat the beat, beat the living crap out of Edge and Beth Phoenix. The commentators talk about the Elimination Chamber card for this sun this Saturday. Uh, um, video package: The danger of the Elimination Chamber. Raw Women's Champion Bianca Bella is walking backstage. She'll be in action next. Okay, so we get the commercial break. A triple threat match: Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair versus Bailey versus Becky Lynch. And um, this match was um. This this match was good. The main event match was good. If either if if either Bailey or Becky Lynch wins, they'll they'll be added to the um to the women's elimination chamber match. Um, that match will start at start as a true threat match. If Bianca Belair wins, Bailey and Bianca, Bailey and Becky Lynch will lose their opportunity. So we we'll go to commercial break. Picture in picture commercial break. Bailey shows Becky Lynch, so Becky Lynch shows her. Out of the ring, and Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair square off. So off. Bianca Belair look hooks a side headlock. Becky Lynch wipes her off, but Bianca Belair shoulder tackles her down. Bianca Belair hits the ropes and carvels her her over, back over her. Becky Lynch clips clips her ankle, and as Bianca Belair try, tries for a leaf walk, um, Bianca Belair gets out of out of the disarm her. And taunts her and taunts Be- and taunts Becky Lynch. Bianca Bella drop kicks Becky Lynch down. Bailey gets in the ring, but Bianca Bella leaves falls her and connects with a drop kick. Becky Lynch is fired up. Bianca- Becky Becky Lynch takes Bianca Bella down and covers her for a one count. Bianca Bella hits a snapmare cover and snapmare covers, but Becky Lynch bends out. Bianca Bella tr- trips Becky Lynch and sends her to the corner. But Becky Lynch blocks it. They be I'm sorry. They do a neat exchange that winds up with Becky Lynch rolling her up for a two count. Um, Becky Lynch then kicks her down. Becky Lynch baseball slides Bailey off the apron. And goes goes to the apron. Becky Lynch kicks Bianca Belair back and goes to goes to the top rope. We joined this match in progress. Bianca Bella cuts Becky Lynch off on the top rope before pressing her above her head and throwing her into Bailey. Becky Lynch covers Bailey, so Bianca Bella pulls her off and covers Bailey. Becky Lynch pulls Be- Bianca Bella off. Becky Lynch and Bella go at it before Bailey inserts herself. Herself. Bianca Bella sends Becky Lynch to. To the corner, but Becky Lynch knocks her back. Becky Lynch goes for a cross body block, but Becky Lynch catches her. But Bianca Bella catches her. But, um, Bianca Bella kicks Bailey away and sings, and sings Becky Lynch at her. But Bailey ducks. Bailey shows Bianca Bella and Becky Lynch to the corner. Bailey dumps Becky Lynch out of the ring and hits a sliding clothesline. <clears throat> Excuse me, on Bian- on Bianca Belair for a near fall. Um, Bailey attacks Bianca Belair and sends her shoulder first into the ring post. Um, Bailey stops Be- Bailey stops Becky Lynch from 
stops Becky Lynch from attacking her and knocking her out of the ring. Bailey sends Becky Lynch into the barricade. Bailey rolls Bianca Bella up for a two count. Bailey kicks Bianca Bella back and points to the rest many side. Bailey continues to attack Bianca Bella and chokes her on the middle rope for a two count. B- Bianca Bella fights back at Bailey and Wiley claws her, but Bailey quickly shoves her, shoves her back. Bailey connects with a belly to belly, belly to back suplex on Bianca Bella for a near fall. Becky Lynch was supposed to break that up, but she was late. Bailey quickly puts Becky Lynch on the apron and snap her off. Middle middle rope. Um, Bailey takes Bianca Belair down and apply a modified knee bar. Becky Lynch comes off the comes off the top rope with a flying knee drop on both of them. Becky Lynch covers Bailey, but Bianca Belair breaks it breaks it up. Becky Lynch and Bailey go back and forth before Becky Lynch unloads with some wild forms. Becky Lynch hit a spear kick to the midsection and hits a springboard kick. Bianca Bella grabs Becky Lynch, but Becky Lynch slides off. Becky Lynch hits Bianca Bella and Bailey with a double DDT. Becky Lynch covers Bianca Bella for a two count. So we go to commercial break, picture in picture. Becky Lynch sides up Bailey and avalanches her, ha- avalanches her in the corner. Becky Lynch kicks her down before hitting a back exploder. Bailey rolls out of the ring to recover, so Becky Lynch takes her out with a flying shoulder tackle off the apron. Becky Lynch gets Bailey in the ring. Bianca Bailey knocks um, Becky Lynch off the apron with a handspring, handspring back kick and covers Bailey for a near fall. Bailey rolls out of the ring again. Becky Lynch takes Bianca Bailey out with a missile drop kick for a near fall. Becky Lynch is looking more desperate. Desperate. Um, Becky Lynch applies disarm the disarm her to the Raw Women's Champion, but Bailey breaks it up. Bailey drops an elbow on both Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. The WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Dakota Kai and Neil Scott come along comes to the ringside. Dakota Kai is on crutches. They attack Becky Lynch. Bailey covers Becky Lynch for a two count. Bailey throws Bianca throws Bianca Belair out of the ring for damage control to attack. They get Bianca Belair in the ring and Bailey covers for another two count. Bailey, Bianca Belair hits Bailey with the jawbreaker, but Bailey rolls her away. Bianca Belair gets out of the out of the Bailey to Bailey and rolls her up for a two count. Back back from the final break, Bianca Belair hits a double chicken wing slam on Bailey into the top top buckle. Becky Lynch breaks it up. Bianca Belair goes for a double chicken wing slam on Becky Lynch. But Becky Lynch rolls her into the turnbuckles for a near fall. Um, Becky Lynch goes for goes to the top row, but Bianca Bella cuts her off. Damage control checks on their leader at ringside. Bailey rolls into rolls into the ring, and we got the Tower of Doom spot. Bailey power bombs Bianca Bella as Bianca Bella gives Becky Lynch a superplex. Bailey covers Bianca Bella for a near fall. Bailey then covers. Becky Lynch for the same result. One of the Becky one of Becky Lynch extends spell out and is at ringside. Unless there unless that's a clump of her actual hair. Bailey goes for a diving elbow drop on Be- Bianca Bella and Becky Lynch. But Bianca Bella moves out of the way. Bianca Bella breaks up the pin. Bianca Bella hits Bailey with a clothesline and a shoulder tackle. Bianca Bella draw kicks Bailey and kicks up. Bianca Bella then punches away at Becky Lynch in the corner. B- Bianca Bella backflips over Bailey and hits her with a delay delayed vertical suplex. Bianca Bella kicks up and goes for a handspring standing moonsault before Bailey gets to gets the knees up. Bailey takes her down and tries for a dirty pin, but Becky Lynch pushes Bailey's feet off the apron. Off the ropes, Bianca Bella takes B- Bianca Bella takes Bailey down. Becky Lynch goes to the top rope and catches Bianca Bella with a diamond dust on the top of Bailey. B- Becky Lynch hits his Bailey with a manhandle slam, but Dam's control pulls her out of the ring. They send Becky Lynch into the ring post. Bianca Bella grabs Bailey, 
and goes for a kiss of death. Dakota Kai gets on the apron and pulls Bailey down. Bianca Belair snaps off, snaps Bailey off the top rope. Bianca Belair grabs Dakota Kai, but Yellow Sky drop kicks her. Um, Bailey rolls Bianca Belair up for a near a near fall. Bailey shouts in frustration. Oscar, McQuell, Natalia, Carmella, Nikki Cross, and Liv Morgan run down to take out damage control. Bianca Belair hits Bailey with a spine buster for a near fall. Yellow Sky managed to get to the to get to the top rope, but Bianca Belair cuts her off. Bianca Belair press her above the head and throws her out of the ring onto the rest of the women. Um, in the ring, Bailey attacks Bianca Belair from behind. Becky Lynch then attacks Bailey from behind. Becky Lynch attacks both Bailey and Bianca Belair. Becky Lynch Becky Lynch hits Bailey with the manhandle slam. Bianca Bella then grabs Becky Lynch and hits her with the kiss of death onto Bailey for the victory. The winner of the match, Bianca Bella. This was a good main event. But the question is, why Nikki Cross, Liv Morgan, Natalia, will crowd Rodriguez one run come out on stage at the same time to take out damage control, but they end up fighting each they end up fighting each other. That didn't that did not make sense right there. But the main event was good. Becky Lynch and Bailey would not be at would not be in the women's elimination chamber match this Saturday. Becky Lynch holds her head hurts her head in frustration at ringside. Um the commentators make their final pitch for the elimination chamber premium live event this Saturday. And Monday Night Raw goes off the air. Okay, like I said earlier, now Monday Night Raw was a decent show and it gets a four out of ten. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my WWE Raw review and highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and what are your thoughts on Monday Night Raw because it was a 4 out of 10. It was a decent show. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that, li hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Turn on, no turn on that notification to get notified when I go live on YouTube or premiere a brand new video. Follow, follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. And um, I want you guys to have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.